Worcester Public Schools are taking precautions to keep students and faculty safe. Tuesday, the school's nutritional department got a chance to see the realities of an active shooter in the building. A drill at Nelson Place Elementary School simulates the harsh reality of a school shooting. It helps them thinking of, uh, the, the think about what's going on around them, be more aware of their surrounding. Tuesday, Worcester Public Schools Nutritional Department participated in the district's new violent intruder response training called ALICE. ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Count, and Evacuate. So today, myself, who's a certified Alice instructor, along with eight Worcester police officers who are also certified, did a hands-on scenario training. In one scenario, participants followed the old emergency plan of a traditional lockdown. Stay. Stay. Then they used Alice training, which gives faculty and staff more tools to effectively fight back. We train people to um, make, make decisions, whether it be to not just lock down, but to barricade the door, to counter the individual coming to the classroom, fight back, or evacuate. If you know the shooters in one, one section of the school, you might want to evacuate to another section of the school and get as far away from, from the, uh, the threat as possible. Worcester Police Officer Scott Pulsifer says putting people in these scenarios gives them a better understanding of how to react. Now you start to improvise, become more proactive instead of just sitting by and being passive. Meanwhile, School Safety Director Rob Pizzella says today's training helps people think out of the box when a violent intruder is in the building. In reality sets in very quickly that when you hear a gunshot in the building, what am I going to do to protect not only myself but others that I'm responsible for? And so today the different scenarios that we went through and the hands-on scenarios that they were trained to react to was very so sobering. And schools are also purchasing software to give teachers a real-time update on their phones in the case of an active shooter. They are expected to have that by the end of the school year.